I meditate on the adolescent girls of Raja that run after Sri Radha. The waves of their playful glances paint all the directions blue, like Nilotpala, blue lotus flowers, the circular reflections of their swaying breasts beautify the sky like golden mountains and the steps of their feet make the whole ground where the Rasalila takes place as beautiful as a blooming land lotus. I meditate on the adolescent girls of Raja that run after Sri Radha the waves of their playful glances paint all the directions blue, like Nilotpala, blue lotus flowers. The circular reflections of their swaying breasts beautify the sky like golden mountains, and the steps of their feet make the whole ground where the Rasalila takes place as beautiful as a blooming land lotus, the sweetness of the gopis on a tryst. The following four verses describe the Rasalila, the crest jewel of all the Lord's pastimes. By Mohan's inconceivable potency, the entire environment becomes at, one, at once fit for dancing the rasa. The Bhagavad verse, Rasot Savaha Sampravirto, indicates that the rasa dance began spontaneously and the verse Tado Durajaha indicates that the full moon rose in the sky as soon as Mohan got the desire to enjoy the rasa with the gopis. When Mohan saw the rising moon, he remembered Radha's shining face and went straight to Vrindavana's Vamsivata tree to lure the gopis with his enchanting flute song. This unclear sweet flute song sounds just like an all-attractive mantra that causes the Kama Beach to vibrate. Srila Jiva Goswami comments on this verse as follows. The word Kala, unclear sound, refers to the first two syllables of the Kama Bija, the invocatory syllable of the Kama Gayatri Mantra. It is as if one arrow of Cupid after the other comes out of the holes of Madan Mohan's Murali flute when he calls the gopis for the Rasa dance. Sri Rupa Goswami writes in Ujjwala Nilamani, Mohan's flute playing resembles Indra's thunderbolt that smashes the mountain of Radha's patience, or the wind that fans the flames of the moon-faced gopis lusty desires. Sri Bhad, in his Manjari Swarup, sees how the beautiful gopis rush out to meet Mohan, leaving the milk or the porridge boiling on their hearts, leaving their husbands 
their parents and their homes to go and see Mohan, who calls them with his flute that sings, Come, come here. In the Bhagavad, Srila Supadev Goswami mentioned that the gopis were independent lovers of Mohan, but it is not so that he did not mention the presence of Sakis attending royal friends there. In the verse, Apiena Patni Upagataha, he clearly described the Sakhi Bhav. The Manjaris are also a kind of Sakhi. In the pre Mahaprabhu era, poets like Chandidas, Vidyapati, Jayadeva, and Vilgamangala described the mood of the Sakis, but the exact difference between the Sakis and Manjaris only became revealed after the dissension of Srima Mahaprabhu. Underlined. But the Acharyas that had surrendered to his lotus feet. For instance, Sri Rupa Goswami has clearly described Manjari Bhav and Manjari Seva during the Rasa dance and how it is superior and more confidential than Sakhi Bhav in his Utkalika Vallari Stava. Sri Bhav, in his Kinkari form, sees the wonderful passion of the gopis when they rush out to meet with Mohan, forgetting their bodies, their homes, and their moral codes. And he paints a beautiful picture here of their sweet passion. This is not some fancied story, but a record of genuine spiritual experience. There is nothing as beautiful and as sweet in the whole world as this. It is so sweet that it can control even Mohan himself. The gopi's glances paint the sky blue like blue lotus flowers because their eyes are so beautifully blue. And there are millions of such beautiful gopi eyes in Vraja. It is as if the waves of their playful glances are wandering around looking for Vamsidari, their heart's teeth. It is as if some unknown thief suddenly steals the jewel of their minds from the houses of their hearts and runs away. And now the waves of their eyes act like torchlights looking for him. When the most valuable thing has been stolen from his storehouse, a householder becomes very disturbed and runs out of the house trying to find his lost treasure. In the same way, the gopis become totally bewildered when the jewel of their love for Mohan is stolen from the storehouse of their hearts and they run around frantically trying to find the thief. Their oscillating breasts defeat the beauty of so many golden mountains dangling in the sky and every step they make beautifies the earth like a land lotus. Wherever her, wherever her footsteps are, there are lotus flowers blooming and wherever her body glistens, there are waves of electric lightning. What wonderful golden girl I saw that entered my heart. Whenever she opens her eyes, the lotus flowers become manifest. Wherever she smiles, 
nectar is distributed, and wherever she casts her crooked glances, Cupid shoots thousands of arrows. How incomparable is the sweetness of these gopis that follow Sri Radha? By following Radha, their beauty and sweetness even increases like a row of moons surrounding a moon. All of them arrive on the bank of the Yamuna in the circle of the Rasa dance. How wonderful is the beauty of the Yamuna bank where beautiful Jasmine, Malati, Jati, Yuti, Kunda, and Mandara flowers are blooming. Mm. A soft breeze carries drops of Yamuna water and the fragrance of these flowers and scents the whole forest, making it even more delectable than the celestial Nandana gardens of heaven. The bees are agitated by the fragrance of these flowers and sweetly buzz around them, drinking their honey to their heart's content. Beautiful, blooming lotus flowers, lilies, and kalara flowers float on the Yamuna surface, and the full moon shines in the sky, showering Vrindavana with his nectar. Shribat sees millions of land lotuses growing in the circle of the Rasa dance. These are moving lotuses though, in the form of the gopis shuffling lotus feet. Then the vision that was like a bright lightning strike of Radhika's mercy disappears and Shripad humbly prays, Alas, when will I be so fortunate to see the gopis sweet rasa tryst? When the gopis are on their rendezvous with Radhika, their playful wave-like glances below like dripping bluish lotus flowers filling all the ten directions with a stream of their fragrance. Aha! How wonderful is the charming beauty of their breasts that oscillate because of their forceful running. Their reflections pervade the sky like dangling golden mountains. During the great Rasa dance, the cowherd daughters bless the earth with a flood of love by moving their feet on her, covering her soft surface with blooming lotus flowers. The forms and attributes of all these Raja Gopis who thus enjoy in the Rasa circle are beyond comparison. Prabodhananda says, I will worship these gopis with ecstatic love. Mm -hmm. This is the end of this verse, Guru Dev. This lotus flower is uh, not yellow kamali. Yellow kamala is not from the water. It's thala kamali from the land. Who is this? This kam lotus flower of the land is Gopi. Gopi bhav is so pure like a lotus. Lotus flower is an example of purity. When we give the example of purity, we say it's a lotus flower who live in the mud and water, but mud and water is not touched. 
So this way we give that, that this is the sthalakamri, means the land lotus flower. This gopi is not. Who only want to give to Krishna, that purity is there. And the manjiris, they only want to give to Radha. That is their lord. Uh, in a, the feet of Radhika, they want to give. And the Ustal Kamari, they want to give to the Krishna. So this was explanation of Ustal land lotus flower. You want to read one paragraph, I can explain that. Srivad, in his kinkari form, sees the wonderful passion of the gopis. Now, you took the graph, uh, paragraph where the Srivad, means Manjaris, is looking to go. Yes. Go on. When they rush out to meet with Mohan, forgetting their bodies, what they, they see, the gopis are rushing out to meet Mohan. They are not rushing. Manjiris are not running, running out to meet Mohan. But they see the gopis are running out to meet Mohan. See the mood. Different of more. Yeah. Forgetting their bodies, their homes. They forget the body and home. And the Manjari said, I can give my life to you, but I cannot give body to you. Because this body is given by my Swami Radha. I can give you my life because you give me the soul, I can give you back, but not body. This is the difference more of Manjari and Gopi. And even their moral codes, and he paints a beautiful picture here of their sweet passion. This is not some fancy story, but a record of genuine spiritual experience. Yeah, this is the spiritual experience of what? Gopis. They sketch the picture of this and they make this picture. Manjali. Yeah. There's nothing as beautiful and as sweet in the whole world as this. No, nothing is sweeter than this. Who become mad for the God, highest sweetness. So they make the picture, Manjari's, for that Gopi. And they give to the whole world how great is the Gopi Bhav. You see, they are all mad for the God Krishna. And all appreciate this. Yeah. Whole world is respected, right? This is the behind meaning of this writing. It is so sweet that it can control even Mohan himself. It's so sweet, Mohan is controlled by this. Their love is so sweet, the Mohan got. Oh, he cannot say no. He don't. He don't know what to do now. <laughs> the gopi's glances paint the sky blue, like blue lotus flowers, because their eyes are so beautifully blue. There was so much love with the blue Krishna. Everything become blue, did they go oh, to the Shambhai? What they see, only blue they see. They see whole sky is blue. 
their clothes are blue, their eyes are blue, all the circumstances where they sleep, all is blue. They become mad with blue. How much deep in madness of blue you cannot imagine. The sky and they themselves become all blue. They dress blue, they see blue. There is nothing out of blue. This is madness of the Bhopi. So mad it is. Right? It is as if the waves of their playful glances are wandering around looking for Vamsidari. Only looking one point. Where is the flute? And where is the person who plays this flute? Only one desire. Where is the flute? And where is the player of the flute? What they see is blue. What they cover, dress themselves, all is blue. They want to match themselves with the blue. Ah, this is Gopi Bhav. And this is so relishing to the gopis and who want to follow them. You say they are all dressed in blue. Huh? You, say, you say they are all dressed in blue. All they see only blue. They, they dress the Radharani color is blue. The eyes is blue. The black also, dark also. They see blue. Where they see all blue, because only they see where the flute player. And where is this person of playing who to play the flute? One point with the blue flute player. And this person is also blue. So mind becomes so fixed with blue, they see only blue. <laughs> so beautiful. Wow, this is Rasa. Juicy, this is juice. Right? It is as if some unknown thief suddenly steals the jewel of their minds. What thief come and is stealing the mind? You know, on the mind, you cannot see other thief than me. <laughs> What's beautiful? What is this? You have to go beyond material consciousness to see this. <laughs> beyond material body. That's a divine. And Sarup is divine. Sarup is divine. This preparation is divine. Krishna is divine. Gopis are divine. And Manjari are divine. For practicing to be in divine, this is the only process. If you want to see this rasa, you have to practice to be in divine. Sri Radha. If not, you will listen. But there is some story about I cannot relate. <laughs> you know? Now, without no. Help, I can understand. Now you read, everybody will understand. Go ahead. It is as if some unknown thief suddenly steals the jewel of their minds from the houses of their hearts. Yes. <laughs> Go on, do not stop now. And runs away. Yes. And now the waves of their eyes act like torchlights <laughs> looking for him. Wow! <laughs> no, 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 stop one. <laughs> when the most valuable thing has been stolen from one's storehouse, the householder becomes very disturbed My God. and runs out of the house trying to find his lost treasure. 
In the same way, the gopis become totally bewildered when the jewel of their love for Mohan is stolen from the storehouse of their hearts and they run around frantically trying to find the thief. Their oscillating breasts defeat the beauty of so many golden mountains dangling in the sky and every step they make beautifies the earth like a land lotus. Land lotus. <laughs> lotus is living in the water and mud, but they are land lotus. No water touching, no art is touching, mud is touching, and is so pure, like anything, because this all for one cheater who steals the heart of them and they are searching to take back that. So this, why they are searching to this flute player, flute and flute player? Because he steals the heart of this land lotus. All this change, no? So that you want it. Then to read first, then see that, and more go deep and deep, and more and more read, and more and more understanding will come. More and more realization will happen. That is a read your mantra. When it starts opening, the meaning of the karma, karma guides you. Reason of the, the mantra chanting will open you the feeling of that come. See that. What is the manjari? What is the gopi bhav? And what is the manjari bhav? How you will understand the difference without this practice? Rathe Rathe. So important. To go deep to understand it. Again, one day you need to go through to see that, right? Again you want to go, again you want to go. Because how many times I read is all fresh. Something missing, something missing more to me. Sit up there. More you want to read of Bhajan. I'm I'm very foolish. I don't know much. So if you read, if anything I will rely on you say that. Because I cannot hold anything in my mind. I forget immediately. I don't know. I don't remember anything. And it's good for me. Why to bother to hold in mind many things? Use one thing hold many things, what is the use to hold it? Right. So please, if I can say, I can say or say in Vajra. A Shripad, in his Manjari Swarup, sees how the beautiful gopis rush out to meet Mohan. If you are gopi, you cannot see. If you are Manjari, you can see Radha and you can see Gopi. If I am separate person, I can see Gopinath, Ratha Lila, and everyone, Shama, all. But if I am Shama, I cannot see Shama without glass. So similarly, Manjari can see Gopi. Manjari can see Radhika. 
and Manjari can see this flute player who steal the heart of all Gopi. Manjari can see. So Gopi Krishna's speed is Radha? Gopi cannot see Gopis. They can see Radha. They can see flute steel. Food, food player, Krishna, they can order to the manjari, oh, your small girls, you have to serve for me, bring water, bring this, do this, do this. They will do that, but they cannot see and assess themselves, right? They cannot see them, but manjari can see them. So manjaris are looking what Gopis are going. So yeah, because they are serving to the Gopis also to get the blessing from the Gopi to be close of Radhika. Sripad, in his Manjari Swarup, sees how the beautiful Gopis rush out to meet Mohan leaving the milk or the porridge boiling on their hearths, leaving their husbands, their parents, and their homes to go and see Mohan, who calls them with his flute that sings, Come, come here. In the Bhagavad, Sri Sukadev Goswami mentioned that the gopis were independent lovers of Mohan. You see? Independent lover. <laughs> they make Radhika friend to make easy to meet Krishna. Because Radhika is close to Krishna. And when I am close to Krishna, Radhika, if I make friendship with her, more easy for me to approach this. That is the goal of Gopi. To make a smooth behind meaning how to direct personal love to to that fruit player to meet with him. So, Gurudev, why is uh, Sripad glorifying Gopi Bhav and he's a manjari man? Guru glorifying everyone. Mm. Senior, teach learning. Mm. Learning. He has to glorify. Mm. Why to hate? Lovers never hate to anyone. You only glorify. He appreciate everyone. You know, to size minus plus. Why, what is this business to accept good and bad to get? Judgment oh, is over. Love never judges. Then he cannot love. He only glorify bad or good. But he fixed it this way, his vow. He no jump for any other vow. Because he know what is his mood with Radhika. He say, when you are fixed so much with Krishna, I same way want to fix with Radha. I learn with you that way. Why? If I will say bad, then I will learn negativeness. That is the love. With a minus. We have to learn the plus we have to We have to do same positiveness in our practice. Right? Understand? How, why they, how they are serious, one point eight. We have to do that. We have to understand. Mandala. Bundava. Bundava. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
But uh, wherever her footsteps are, there are lotus flowers blooming. Wherever her footsteps are, there are lotus flowers blooming. Yeah. Which footsteps? Yeah, see this. There are footsteps. Are so beautiful, so madness for the Krishna. Where they keep them? In the earth, it becomes pure sand. Lotus flower booming unless it becomes pure, because this touch of their purity of love for Krishna. It's unexpected, and this where she keeps her feet, that point is lotus flower. That point becomes pure, unexpected, like a lotus flower. So why Vrindavan is every place is booming because the gopis keep every step. In this place, Radhika, the steps are there, and is booming because of the gopi's feet. Badness of that love for Krishna feet. Yeah, this badness makes like a lotus flower to those devotees who meditate. Wherever her footsteps are, there are lotus flowers blooming. Understanding, clear, <laughs> clear understanding, Anna. See that. Not Krishna lotus feet. Gopi's lotus feet. They are so pure. Their love is so pure for Krishna. See that. See that something. Yeah. Rad. And wherever. Her body glistens. There are waves of electric lightning. Wow! So much energy. Wow! Lightning. Mm -hmm. Divine light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the highest light. Powerhouse. Power. Ram Krishna Paramahansa, <laughs> her mother, she is praying like a mother, wife praying like a mother. Ananda Mai Ma, his husband pray like a mother. Light day, Gopi Bhav makes current in the body, the divine current. Yeah. Land lotus. Water lotus flower, you listen. But gopis are the land lotus who comes from the land earth, living in the earth like a normal life. But these lost the purity of this land. What wonderful golden girl I saw that entered my heart. Whenever she opens her eyes, the lotus flowers become manifest. Wherever she smiles, nectar is distributed. And wherever she casts her crooked glances, Cupid shoots thousands of arrows. How incomparable is the sweetness of these gopis. No Radhika, gopis only, this is the truth. That follow Sri Radha. Can you imagine what is the point of Radhika? Again read last one. Whenever she opens her eyes, the lotus flowers become manifest. Yeah. Where she opens eyes, 
what she see our mercy gopis mercy others become pure like you know this power this is the pure heart she put the glance to anyone they become lot of flower ah what it they follow radhika behind religion is this what is the example how you will give this example go to any saintly person he will give you glance of love where you will go that will be lotus flower your step will become lotus flower by the mercy of gopri who is living in this one point here fix this krishna what about fix with radha All directors are speaking. This is strictly Arti Dino class. Let's take this stop. I have to follow them. It's not five yet. Huh? It starts later now. Ten more minutes, brother. Two more minutes. You can repair it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she will do it. Yeah, that. Yeah. Wherever she smiles, nectar is distributed. Wow. What a looking. He's smiling. Only the... Mahatma, Mahajans, they smile. Why so much fix with Krishna? What is happening? Nectar is distributed. Nectar is distributed. See that. What you say? I hate eager part. You don't demand it. Only they smile it, and you got it. <laughs> Why they smile? They know better. But I know. Ask to him to do something. Only the good, good. You know, blessing. We learn without asking. This is mystic power. Yeah. and wherever she casts her crooked glances cupid shoots thousands of arrows and when she gopis and to such krishna who pregnant glanto what which glanto cupid kandarpa kandarpa So the last he desires, just yes, this is so to Krishna, and thousands attack happen to him. So here they receive and they give to us. So you know, unconditional love is received, and unconditional love is given. It's the only business of us. So you yeah. know. Everything is very, 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 very deep meaning. And this bhajan will give you everything, Baba. All realization will come by bhajan. Real knowledge is come through bhajan. When the true bhajan, our all covering removed, Sri Ram. Yeah. 
give some sharing, nobody asks question to me. I am so foolish that nobody has any question for that. I said, fine, man. why not we ask questions? Others are giving class many questions, I listen, they are asking. I become happy sometime when I will say, somebody will ask question to me. But never they ask me <laughs> what to do. They are so ask. satisfied by your class. <laughs> no, I don't believe that. Thank you for saving us. You were saying that through bhajan all realizations will come. What what is contained in this bhajan? What is the process? One day, Kesab Baba is telling. Only one curtain is in between us. Because of that, mirror is there, but this dark curtain, parda, that way we cannot see other mirror. We cannot see others. So, to remove that, we have to marginal. Cheto darpanam marginal. Marginal means washing, clean, when Ras Leela clean every day, the glass, took the paper, I said, what clean for you? then I go, then I see, she cleaned the glass, margin. So she is teaching every day, you have to margin, clean all the time. If not, then dust will cover this. You cannot see yourself. So you margin and just everything is there, yeah. Because we are part and parcel of Alladini Anand. Jivere Sarupoy Nitya Krishna. He's always Krishnadas. Means Krishnadas means Alladini is also there, and both are there. Vaidanga Sakti and Taranga Sakti and Swain, Sri Krishna, all is Krishna. We see sometimes one Sakti, we don't see all Krishna. We see Krishna, but we see only one Krishna, Vaikuntavasi. Bahiranga, Antaranga, and Saint Rajendrana. Rajendrana happened when he is with Antaranga Sakti. When he is with Bahiranga Sakti, he becomes Narayan. Even he is with Antaranga Sakti, he becomes Rajendrana. So, that is Jiva is in supervision of Antaranga Radhe <laughs>